So I got myself a new toy. Accurate beats. Yeah. MPC live. Nice and shiny box. It's a lot heavier than I expected. Ooh. I don't really know what I expected here, but this is nice. This one is standalone, so I should be able to just power it on without having it connected to anything. So let's see. So I really need to get this one connected. And like that, my MPC Live is connected to my entire setup with this single USB cable right here. And I'm running the whole unit off of the internal batteries right now. I have been using it for a while and I'm kind of getting to know the whole system of it. But I'm not an expert yet, but I'm going to make videos on the MPC Live over the next couple of weeks. So if you have any questions or anything you wonder about it, just ask me away in the comment section and I will try to give you some answers in my upcoming videos. My first impressions now that I've been using it for just a couple of hours or so, I must say the whole touchscreen thing is way more responsive and easy to use than I expected. Entering notes and the step sequencer like this and being able to, to adjust my, my velocity curves like this, it's really cool. Or watching a grid of the notes like this, just like on any DAW but on the screen up here and you're able to like do stuff like this really quickly, edit stuff, delete stuff. That's really cool as well. Being able to zoom like this on the screen is also really seamless and really familiar to me as an iPhone user. Now, I must add that I feel like the, the pads are really good, but also very different from what I'm used to because of the fatness of them. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all, it's just not really what I'm used to. Let's load up some drums and see how the thing sounds. Let's go for Hip Hop Kit Ghost Ride Kit. Cool, so let's go for another one. Hip Hop Kit Rivals. Or another one. So let's try one of the R&B Soul kits as well. But it comes with much more than just drums, so let's check out one of the acoustic guitars. So that could be kind of useful. Maybe some roads. So all in all it feels like the kits are really well put together and well thought out. So everything just feels good and plays well together. And navigation wise I get pretty far with just a couple of buttons. This big knob right here and using the touch screen like this because it's pretty much similar to any touchscreen device that you're used to, but yeah, it's really responsive and works just like you expect. So right now I'm not using any of the inputs or the outputs, it's just running on the computer that's behind my back right now, and it works flawlessly. So taking a quick look on the back of the unit, we have the power in, we have the USB out that connects to the computer right now, two more USB ports for connecting external like USB devices like keyboards and stuff, Two MIDI inputs, two MIDI outputs, as well as an SD card for loading up samples and saving presets and stuff. A normal pair of stereo jacks for the inputs, as well as dedicated phono inputs, and a switch from line to phono levels. And a connection for the ground, so you can ground your turntable. A dedicated knob for the input volume, as well as 
three pairs of stereo outputs. Now we have a phone's output on a mini jack and a master volume knob. It's pretty heavy and it feels like it could take a proper beating in a backpack or something like that. And uh, the same thing goes for the knobs. It feels really sturdy and well built in every sense of the word. Of course it comes with a lot of like one shot samples, a lot of instrument sounds, some MIDI clips and things, and as well as some demo songs and whatnot. But I am going to make more videos on this one, so stick around on the channel for that. And thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye now. Accurate Accurate beats. Beats.